All right, so here we go. Here's another uh, little script. This one's called up down, and this is for those blocks that I first trigger off. So static variables, static. Oops. The static variable is called le switch. So that variable right there allows the it to transverse one script onto another. That's why it's static. And I'm going to put a simple trigger out there. Sometimes you can write a Boolean for this, but I'm going to have a series of numbers. Let's say I have multiple elevators within the level. I could always assign them to different, uh, different trigger numbers there. So if I have like 30 elevators, I can have one through 30. Okay, variable. To describe the player. that and now this is another function on trigger stay probably the most used trigger out there because as soon as you hit it it stays on until you hit something else where it might trigger it off okay this is a very simple script it's doing two things. One, it's passing a code from L switch and saying you are trigger. Okay. So that means for this trigger, it's passing a one onto the next script. If one, go up. If two, go down. Okay, that's the idea. Also, what it's doing, it's unmounting a player. Meaning, player parent equals null. So the other script, what the elevator up script is going to do, is going to parent it. And this script is going to unparent it. You don't want to keep uh, something actually parented and moving around outside its parent because it gets some wacky stuff going. So let's keep that. Now Now that you understand what this script is doing, it's basically just saying one, okay, if one something, and the one's going to be passed on to the next script. It's also taking the parent and breaking it. So now let's go back to this one. And it might make more relative sense. Okay, so here's bool switch. That's your up down code. Okay. So I have to I have to get that over from this script. How I call a, a different script within a script is this. Bool switch equals find object of type and the object just happens to be a script up down just like that all right now I can start looking at the one that's coming over there and saying well if it's going to be one which means if, if the character already touched that box we can do some stuff so if bool switch period So let me show you how that works. Here's bool switch. It's coming on bool switch. Here's the variable that's pulling over from down script. 
called Ellis switch. Okay, so you see how that works. I'm pulling it into this script, assigning it bool switch, getting the other character or the other variable uh, by assigning it right here, and that's being pulled from the other script. Very confusing thing for a new student that's into uh, this stuff to kind of rack their heads around. So you know, don't expect this to come overnight, that's for sure. Okay, if bool switch, what happens? Well, it's not just that simple. Um, I also have to say uh, a certain stop. See, if I get on the elevator, uh, it will just go all the way up and keep going up. So I'm going to have to stop it at some point. If the elevator period transform period position in Y is less than from period Y. do something. So okay, I got a lot of do somethings out here. I got this. If it says this, it'll do this. If it says this and that, it will do something else. So a lot of you can you can stack your if statements. Very good there. All right, in the next video I want to keep continuing this. I feel like I'm running out of time.